Hello and welcome to Academy Live episode 39. In today's episode we have Andrea Beluso here. Hi there. And we're going to talk about how to shoot with gels and go through all the ins and outs. So ask any questions you have around gels. So join us. Hello and welcome back. And hello, Andrea. Welcome Hi, back. Hi, Anders. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Good to be back here at uh, Academy Live. Yes, and we have already some friends. We got uh, we got Germany here, and we got Trond from Norway. Hello, Trond. Uh, and Alex is here, so this is great. And of course, Joel from Houston. I think Joel must be like one of the most loyal viewers we have. Yes, you are always with us, and so this is so cool. Uh, and oh, he's hanging out with Chris Fain and Cliff oh, the, say at, hi. at the Shutterfest. That's right, well, Shutterfest. Say hi is, from us. Absolutely. You have to say hi to, uh, from us to all the people out there. Absolutely. And, and of course, have a, tons of fun uh, over there. So today, first of all, Andrea, you've been out and about for a couple I of weeks. I have indeed. I have yes. indeed. I've uh, just recently come home from Dubai. Dubai? Okay. Yes, um, where we had a massive pro photo fest, if we want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a thing called the Creative Experience, which uh, we at House Belusa create with Bella Kotak and uh, Pratik Naik. Uh -huh. So an amazing photographer, an amazing retoucher. Big and names. Big names. Yeah. And we have people from 11 countries. Uh, in Dubai, and uh, it was amazing. It was really amazing. So now we're actually preparing for the next one. And this is the, it's like a week's event? It's five days. Five, it's five days. days. Yeah. So people can choose either three days or five days. And um, so five days is more intensive. It's super VIP, so it's limited amount of seats. Yeah. And the first three days are open to more people. Ah, okay. And now we're changing it to Los Angeles, coming out uh, in October. In October, LA. We're pumping it up even more. Ooh. So instead of three and five days, it's going to be two or five days. Ah. Two days open to a lot of people. Yeah. And the five days only limited to eight people. Eight people. Yes. Whoa. Okay. And, and <laughs> this is the event where you where you get to shoot with some nice cameras as you well. You shoot huh? with uh, phase one cameras. You mm. have all the pro photo equipment at your disposal, ranging from pro tens to A ones to you name it, <laughs> with every single light shaping tools. And your knowledge. And my knowledge. And you are there with my knowledge of lighting. Get to play with them. Get to create with them. And what we saw in Dubai was amazing. People, you know, these photographers coming from all the, all over the world, yeah. and really playing with all these light shaping tools, really out of their comfort zone. Own. So and cool. really being, being so nerdy with lighting, it was a pleasure seeing them. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's fun to see when, when photographers get over the, the kind of the speed bump of the kind yes. of the first hurdle, and then you can't put a hold to them. I mean, you they're can't. just going bananas. And as soon as you creative. open up that little thing yeah. that has been keeping them stuck, yeah. and they dare to, like you say, go over the threshold, yeah. then you know things really explode. It's, it's really fantastic. fun. Yes, that's uh, great. <laughs> so, oh, well, we got people here. We got. All Oh, look at that. Mark, Seattle, and of course, with Stockholm, Ahmed here. Manchester. As well. Manchester, Mexico, Germany, Kolkata, Argentina, and Cannes. Well, we were there yet at Way Up North not uh, very recently. Yeah. Well, it's and down south. Yeah, well, exactly, down south, yeah. <laughs> up but north it was or down way, south. Yeah, it was Way Up North. <laughs> and Perth, Australia. Lovely uh, Perth. Yes. Taiwan, Germany, Taipei. Anywho, today we are going to talk about gels. So yes, let's we are. get to it and talk. We're going to shoot as well. Yep. Uh, since we have you here, it would be a waste of not shooting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and there are uh, a lot of things with gels that I see people are doing. Uh, I'm not saying they're doing it wrong, but they're not getting the effects that they want. Well, and I so think we, uh, people are getting confused with gels. Yeah, and I've been getting lots, a lot of questions about, oh, I'm trying to do this and it's not happening. So we, yeah. we're trying to straighten out and give a couple of uh, uh, helpers, some pointers to yeah. help you guys uh, and, 
and uh, we're not going to show everything you can do no, with GLs no. because there, I mean, there are some pro photo videos that you've done in the past. That's right. Where you talk about how to uh, how to color, color the shadow on the background exactly, in any different yeah. color. Yeah. And there's a video uh, on the pro photo YouTube uh, channel. Yeah. Uh, and we were trying to look it up, and I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> And I'll post it on the link, okay? <laughs> and, I, and I think it's more my, my, my search skills that are kind of limited. <laughs> we'll post the link in the comment <laughs> below. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, exactly. It will be down here. Down here, <laughs> down here. Uh, but then also if you go to houseofblueso.com, uh, you also have a link to that one there, right? Yes, we yeah. do. Yes. And uh, either, either houseofblueso.com, you have the link there or the House of Beluso uh, YouTube channel, even there there's a link. Yeah. Okay. There's all my pro photo videos are there basically. Yeah, and there's so. a lot of, lot of good knowledge in there. Yes. And so, I mean, if you are new to lighting and want to get, get to know more, I, I think really recommend to uh, go and check out that. Even though some material, I mean, since you've been around, I'm not yeah. saying that you're old, but you are. <laughs> uh, no, but you, you've been around what with pro <laughs> for such a long time, <laughs> you've done material, but the thing is that they don't really get outdated because the, the yeah. physics and how light works, it's, it's still all there. They haven't changed. It hasn't no, changed. No, no right? it's all there. It's, it's all, all there. there. <laughs> and it's all applicable. So and the thing is that, you know, as you guys, probably those that of you that know me, I never tell you how to do things. I try and inspire you. So whatever is there is knowledge that you can apply to whatever you want to do in your own lighting. So yeah. it's all fresh material. As yeah. Say. And also, I mean, on, on your comment there with. Uh, uh, with what we are doing here, it's not, it's not the law, we're not directing no. you do this, do that, but no. it's supposed to inspire you a little bit and give you some first steps and then just go bananas, play, Absolutely, fun, go yeah. bananas, that's the way that's, to be that's, creative. That's, that's how you learn. And Andy is online as well. Hi Andy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have someone, Mark here, he's got a B10, so interested. Yeah, we're actually cool. shooting with B10s today. We, yes, we, we got are. a whole set of we're B10s. We're shooting with B10s and A1 today. <laughs> John, 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 John from Seattle. He put the link now to the to the video. Oh, he's, he's thank you, John. Such a great help always. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. Uh, so about gels, uh, I would just like to put a couple of things straight, yes. if you don't mind. So first of all, gels come in all shapes and sizes. You can buy them in rolls. You can buy them in uh, sheets, both from uh, leaf filters and from uh, Roscoe. Uh, Rosco. Um, and uh, you also have the Profoto gels. And what you have to, and they're both for OCF, so they come in two nice little pouches like this, uh, and for the A1 as well. Then what you have to uh, think of when it comes to gels is that there's two types of gels. There's color correcting gels and there's color effect gels. Yeah. So things like CTO, for instance, and people go like, what is CTO? What does CTO stand for? Well, everything that has a C before it is actually uh, a correcting gel. Yeah. Uh, so CTO, O stands for orange, and then you have the blue, and then you have the green, yeah. basically. And these are the color effect gels. So you see loads of pretty, pretty colors to get creative with. And then we have the correcting gels that are actually created to balance uh, your flash uh, color temperature with the available light color temperature. Yeah. So. And they're, and they're, I mean, the most common, commonly used are the orange ones, right? That's right. Because you always have, you know, tungsten lights or you have the candle lit dinners exactly. and so forth. That's where you want the balance. And then they become in different grades of yes. orange. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And then with the OCF, which is like for the B1, the B2, the B1X, uh, exactly. the B10 and so forth, you have these grid holders. So you have these pre cut yeah. and then you just uh, pop That's them in super here. super easy. Yeah, super easy yeah. to to just replace and put in here, so it's, yeah. it's really neat. But if you don't have uh, OCF or if you're using something else, or even with OCF, you, if you're buying these big sheets, because you might exactly. want to have, uh, you know, Valrhona chocolate colored or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because there's like a gazillion different colors. And, and then you, you can just buy these sheets and just use some gaffer tape and put them around uh, the flash. And yeah, you, you just get. cut your part that you want and yeah. Bit of gaffa. Exactly. And you're on. Yeah, gaffa yeah. solves everything. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and so with the corrective gels, which we, we are going to show uh, a shoot with, with corrective gels, and we're gonna, we, have, uh, we have made one corner. I don't see. It's, so this is the studio. And um, right close to this camera that you see right now, we will actually shoot with the corrective gels. We have made a little corner that looks terrible. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's so much tungsten light in there. 
Uh, yeah, Anders put a big tungsten light right there that when you look at it, you know, with your eye, then you don't see it. But when you take, as soon as you take a picture, and we'll yeah. show you that, yeah. it becomes all orange and yeah. super warm. And and uh, and and also, one thing to remember with the uh, the OCF gels, uh, they are made lightweight, easy to carry for the OCF products, which have a halogen uh, uh, modeling light. That's right. So they work for, for, for those cameras, but don't put them on uh, like a D2, D2 or a D1, or like that. especially if you're, not, if you're using the modeling light, it's yeah. really hot. It's really hot and then yeah. it, it will melt. Uh, I actually did the mistake myself. I keep on preaching this to people <laughs> all over the world saying do not use OCF things on non-OCF lights. Yeah. And what did I do? Of course, I put my grid kit, my OCF grid kit mm. on a D2 and uh, yeah, well, it melted <laughs> into just one piece. <laughs> and if you don't use the modeling light, I mean, you can use because the yes. flashlight doesn't it's get fine. that uh, hot or that warm. So it, it, then as you're soon okay, as you turn that modeling light on, yes, it's cooking. <laughs> Oh, Sebastian is so kind. He's saying hi to you, and then there's uh, oh, but oh, and of course me too. As well. <laughs> I, know, right, I know. We take that as a <laughs> given, but it's always fun with with our uh, <laughs> guests here, and and so so those were the uh, corrective lights, and you use those to match whatever light you have around you, and they come in yep. orange, blue, and green. Green. What, what what do you use green for? Well, green. If you look at Basically, the ceiling light the way up here, uh, you guys can maybe see it on the long shot yeah, there. It's a little bit so, Yeah, you see some strips above our head. Those are fluorescent lights. Yeah. And fluorescent light has a green character to it. Even if your eye cannot see it, as soon as you take a picture, you'll see that the light in the, in the picture is greenish. Yeah. So the temperature is green, basically. Uh, so you use a green filter to correct that. Because if you take a white balance with your camera, to, comp to turn that greenish light into a normal light, basically, yeah, white light, a yeah. white light, uh, you'll s you will need the green to actually compensate your flash. So it, that it otherwise matches turns the purple. same, yeah. Yes. So yeah, exactly. So it goes to the magenta exactly. side. Exactly. So that's why you use that. It's not that common, but it, it happens. It happens. You, I think, yeah, so yeah. in Italy. A lot. A lot, yeah. You get all these really nice fancy restaurants with exactly. these kind of lights. Yeah. It's terrible. How do you think? Well, I don't why know. is that? I don't, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you should know. You uh, I'm Italian, but I still yeah. don't know. Because <laughs> that's just the one thing that puzzles me. When you, have, you eat this great food and you're in these yeah. magnificent places, but then... They kill boom. it with a light. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go down there and teach them. We do. Yeah. <laughs> and Lighting 101 for restaurateurs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then we have the effect gels, yes. uh, the color effect gels, and they come, as we mentioned, in, in any colors, and that's where yeah. you can play. You can, you can either uh, light the whole thing in different colors. Exactly. It, it can make, make really creepy images. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, or, or you can use it to color a background. Exactly, or, or color the shadows or color whatever you want. Yeah. And that is really to be creative, like you were saying, Anna. Mm -hmm. It's really to go bananas. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> There are a couple of things to, to think of that mainly if you want to, besides some of these crazy things where you want to break every rule, but when you're using colored gels, you normally use the gels to color whatever shadows you have. That's right. Or highlights. Yeah. Shadows or highlights yeah. is, is really the yeah. thing. And so, for example, if, if you, uh, which we're going to show, we, we are setting a, a light. Uh, you could do like a dramatic Rembrandt or you could do a, a butterfly. We have chosen to set up a butterfly. Yeah. Uh, and then there will be shadows. And those, and so the main light is regular flash LED daylight, yeah. so you have skin tones, etc. Yeah. And, and then we use gels to basically color the shadows. Everything the shadows. that is dark in the picture, yeah. we set color to that. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, those are the easiest parts to, to turn uh, yeah. into a color because. Yeah. The second you put, you get main light onto that color, it kills the color. That's right. The effect of the yeah. gel. So and you can get more creative as well because I mean, you, you know, these are the basics that we're showing you today. We're showing you, you know, how they function, how they work, and whatever. But do take it a step further for yourselves as well and play with it and see what you can do with it because you can also, depending on the power, and we're going to talk about this as well, the power of the flash. Uh, that has the gel on it, mm -hmm. you can make it brighter or deeper, more intense in color. Uh, so you, you can start introducing those things even in the highlights, like Anders was saying. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. So uh, get creative. Yeah. Uh, 
we got some questions here, but I yeah. think we will come back to the questions afterwards, right? So yes. Sebastian, don't forget, I won't forget you, we will come back and talk to you about your question and Helmut as well. Yes. Uh, but let's, let's... Uh, Should we shoot? I, I, I think, I, l what does it say? Let's shoot. Yeah. It says time to shoot. Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a setup here where um, Andrea is entering the, the stage. Here we I am. We have a camera. I have uh, a camera. Oh, maybe I should take the, the dongle and walk around a little bit. Cool. So uh, I will uh, so do a test first and see. I'll put on the... Cool. Yes, thank you. Uh, the gel. So let me grab this guy and so stabilize it. And then Yasmin is going to shift over to... Uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. This guy is going bananas now. Uh, is he going bananas? You no, know, it's, it's me going bananas. <laughs> but I blame the technology. Yes. There we go. Cool. There we have, uh, we have Andrea. Right. And so let's see. Let's, let's walk through the setup first of all. So uh, we, have, uh, we have Ken here. We have Ken. This is Ken. And then He's we the have quietest model in the world. <laughs> uh, we have a B10 here. We have a B10. And I think if I walk over here, we can see that it is. You have a grid? I have a grid, yes. So I've limited it with a grid so that we don't bounce off things like this horrible thing here, uh, the big three meter giant, because it will reflect light. It will light. reflect. Yeah. And so basically restricting the light with the grid, and then we have... Then we have two more B10s on both sides coming yes. from the back. We have this one here with some per uh, pink, and... And we have another B10 with turquoise. Exactly. Teal. <laughs> peel? Is that teal, what teal. Teal. Oh, yeah, teal. I think teal was... Teal. Someone corrected me on that one. Okay. Teal. So uh, <laughs> we'll go with teal. And I'm going to walk over here and make sure we have access to uh, Capture One. Cool. So I'll start taking a picture of Ken just with the, with the key light. And uh, did it go? Yes. Cool. We have a picture, and we they have are, a picture. Yeah, and now they see a picture of. Uh, yeah, you can see anything. I can't <laughs> see anything, but I'll come around so I can see it. Yeah, and we can see here how it's very dramatic, and uh, we created shadows on the cheeks, so on both sides of the head, uh, and those we're now now going to light with our gels. So I'm just going to switch on these uh, two other B10. B10 number two, and B10 number three. Yeah, we got stands all yes. over here. We got some stands for, go. for the little camera. And, so and I'll take one more shot of Kent. There we go. And okay. there we should have it. And there we go. And there we go. Yeah. So you see that uh, we're coloring the shadows, one with the magenta and one with the teal, um, in order to create this play with colors. And of course, you can you know you can uh, direct those uh, shadows, color shadows, as you want on your subject, uh, going more on the face or less on the face, more as a uh, really rim light uh, that is colored. Uh, play with it yeah. again. And I think one wonder what happens if I do this. Yeah. Yes, then you get to see both. Uh, so now you see here, can with no gels, and then we had shadows on the side, and then we are basically using. The, the, the gels to color the shadows. So now they have got these pink and, and teal. I would like to do one more thing. I will switch off the uh, key light. Ooh, now he's going. I'm going bananas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, no, that's a downside with, no, upside with Andrea. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so there we have something else. Yeah. Where it's just that. And I just want to show one more thing, if I may, Anders. You, of course. May I? If, you, if we just move this light to one side a little bit more, so coming a okay, little bit more so straight let's see from what the is side doing. here. So he's moving the teal one. I'm moving the teal one to really profile. And let's see what that gives us. As always, there's no use in there's rehearsing anything with Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> no point whatsoever. <laughs> and now you see, we started to get some light on, on the ha half of the face and exactly. up to the nose, but only they have that. This part is still dark. Yeah. And oh, what, 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 I can increase what, the what, power of that. What, what happens bit. if you turn on the key light now? 
Right. So that would be interesting to good, see. Good, good, good one, Anders. What That's happens with the teal light here on the exactly. nose? Exactly. That's when we see what you were talking about before. Yeah, we get a little bit, because you, you have a little bit of shadow bit there, but you see it kills out all the, exactly. the teal that we have here around the eye and so forth and all this. So you don't get as much of an effect as you might want to, uh, that you would have expected. Exactly, exactly. Okay, sorry, now go cool. back to... Uh, so I was going to try one more thing, since we do have a little bit of time. I'm going to kill the, the key light, light again, yeah. and I'm going to just pump this up a little bit to, from six, I bring it to... 7.5. Okay. I'm winging it. You <laughs> I'm just winging it. And let's see what this gives us. And uh, let's see. Ooh, nice. Right? Oh, so yeah. there you start playing with mood and other things as well. Exactly. So now we're starting to now we have actually coloring the whole face. Exactly. So yeah. we're using it not to color the shadows only, but to actually create highlights that are colored. Yeah. You know, and take this. 10 steps further for yourself and play with it and you know I and don't want what to happens if you move the, the pink one like similarly let's do that so let's do that let's do that so i'm going to try and keep the same distance more or less and you come from the other side right here and i'll bring this one up to 7.5 as well so now you're almost you see they're they're slightly in front of the face not very very slightly yeah, yes just a little bit almost in parallel Let's have a look. There, and we, there go. we go. Yeah, and now we see also another thing happening. Uh, this yeah, starts spilling on the background too. Exactly. So this is kind of interesting. We have teal, pink, teal, and pink. Exactly. So that's kind of a nice effect. Yes. And you can use it for another thing as well, if I may. <laughs> I'm really ad-libbing now. <laughs> and she's going yeah, nuts yeah. with me. <laughs> we rehearsed for what? For nothing. For God's sake. Yeah, like I'm going to actually turn my, this light. My OCD is just going bananas. <laughs> and I'm going like to turn it up even more. And I'm going to take one more shot. And let's see what we get now. So now uh, you're pointing the B10 towards the Towards wall. the background. Oh. I have not measured the light, so it could go wrong. No. No, it actually went right. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. So you actually create whatever color background yeah, you want. Gel is, cool. I'm using gels a lot for this as well, to yeah. color my backgrounds. And the only thing you need to think about when you are using gels to color the background yeah. is that make sure that you, your, your key light, the white light, does not hit the background. Yeah. Exactly. So, so why don't we take one shot, uh, one shot now with the key light, key light on. Yeah, we still there have the... Go. And what happens if you take the grid away? Let's do that. I think we're going to start spilling a little bit of the light on the background I, I want as well. to show exactly. kind of what the effect will be on... So here was the image of Ken with key light. I might be slightly overexposed because I have not, I'm not shooting into TL right now. Yeah, no, no not, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, so we didn't spill that much. No, uh, we see that it goes a little bit brighter. Yeah, but not slightly, much. Yeah, very slightly, very so slightly. Probably down here. We have yeah. it, uh, as we can see here on the donut, we have it aimed down pretty aggressively. Exactly. So we don't spill too much even on it, uh, on the wall. Yeah. But here you saw some, I would say, some really cool effects with some simple means. Very simple and very simple changes yeah, as well. Yeah, moving the lights a little bit and, uh, and, and you get all these different totally different moods um, from dark dramatic yeah I like the split it's quite cool isn't it and, and like with this one then you can start playing around and for example let's say that if I I would if I would be the art director and say well you know what I I'd, I don't want, want this black string here I want them to meet then you just move you the just lights move it. a yeah. little bit a little bit and until Fine, you get exactly. the effect that exactly. you need so exactly. or if you want the, the black string to be wider yeah. then you move them further back and so yeah. forth so and a good tip guys is to actually use the modeling lights when you're actually setting your lights yeah. because you actually get to see it visually before you even take the picture yeah cool cool um uh, so shall uh, we talk about uh, the correcting gels why not because uh, cool. those are we have a setup all the way over there yeah I'll, i'm I'll going to Move Ken. The good thing with yeah. Ken is he doesn't talk a lot. The bad thing yeah. with him is he doesn't move. Yeah. So you have to actually lift him and move him. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So the setup we have over here, as we're just going to talk through, we have a little uh, A1 uh, over here, and we have Ken, and then we have this corner. Uh, we do have kind of terrible light overhead in general normally, but what I've done, I've added a one of these guys here, a tungsten light. So this pumps out uh, a lot of continuous light and makes this corner all warm and orangey. Uh, luckily for us, the iPhone and our eyes, they white balance uh, automatically. Uh, but uh, the camera doesn't, so uh, uh, let's see. I could take a picture just without the flash to start with. Yeah, I think you, you need, oops, sorry. No, I'm I'm lost this guy now. Right. So this is without the flash. Okay, I'll, go, I'll go and sit down. Yeah. Do we have an image? Yes, we do. Yeah. And it's kind of ugly. There's no light on the subject. It's all orangey and warm and yucky. So, and, and, uh, and your white balance is now set to... My white balance is set to... Because I, I don't know if it's... it's uh, if you... Yeah. Give me a hand. See. Where are we? There we are. I think this one is at... So if you put it on... Uh, on oh, whoops. If we put it on flash, take yes. a picture now. Let's take a picture now. There we go. And it's still kind of yucky, but the flash has gone now. So we oh, see oh, that. You, oh, you, you're, you're, oh, you're having the flash on. Okay. Now yeah, I, it yeah, just okay. went on, but uh, okay, gotcha. I gotcha. switched it on by mistake. But uh, if we go back to the one that we just took, what we see here is that it's actually balanced on the, on the face. It's a nice uh, tone because it's the flash coming there. Mm -hmm. But everything else around it is orangey. Yeah. So what do we want to do if we want to... Uh, so maybe... Just take the, the aperture down to 2.8, see what happens. If it goes brighter. That's without the flash. It does something because it, it, it's... Uh, it's a, it's making some kind of adjustment. It is. Yeah. Yes. Why is it? Eighty two point eight. That should be right. No, I think I. I saw one hundred. Because it blinks, and it because when we shot before, yeah. it was much much more orange. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it is orange. It is orange. Yeah. <laughs> It is warm. I mean, you see that it's warm. And if you would balance now the camera. Yeah. So you balance the camera with the uh, uh, I bring it to tungsten. tungsten. There we go. Yeah. And, and take an image. And uh, Is it with or without flash? This is without flash. Without flash. No, something is happening here. Something is happening. It's correcting something. Why is that? I'll just start a new session. Session without a name. There we go. Right, session without a name. Okay, should we start again? Yeah, and we put this one on. Oh, I'm on tungsten now. If you put it on, on flash. On flash, okay. Okay. Let me take a shot. With without flash, right? Yeah. Now there it's more now it's more orange. This Even is more the, orange. this is what it looks like. Yes. So it was some something some go. of the settings were not yes. too right. Yeah. But now it's really, really orange. So yeah. now you really can't deny it. And uh, if, if you turn on the flash now, yeah, because that's normally easier. So he's a little bit too dark. We don't want to add a flash. And then he will have a much colder light. 
Exactly. And and the background first of all looks terrible. So uh, if we want to so balance the background to something that is whiter and not as orangey. Exactly. So so now we, we, we put the white balance. We're moving from 5,600, which is flash, and we're moving to tungsten, which yeah. is uh, about 3,200. 3, it should turn... The As you can see now, the background is white, like it should, should look like, but our friend Ken looks all blue. He's all blue. So let's put a, a CTO and gel. And this is when, uh, let's see if I can switch over to uh, this guy and do, let's put on one of these filters. This is there the A1, uh, A1 filters. These are hard ones. And, and they're magnetic, so they're super easy to put yeah. on as well. So I'll just pop it onto the A1. I'll just put the camera here and for a second. There. And uh. yeah, and so so the gel now what happens is that it actually takes away about one stop. So you add you increase the, the, the power level now with one stop, right? That's right. And now what happens is that the white the background is white as it should be because the, the camera is set up for 3200, which is tungsten, so everything's white balanced, and Ken gets his skin tone back. That's right. Yeah. So n that is the, the correcting gel, basically. Exactly, exactly. Cool, cool. Uh, so we'll put this one over here, and we'll, I'm gonna put this one here. We sit down and start right. answering some questions. So we're done for the shooting for now, right? I think we're I think yeah. We I are. think we're pretty much done with the shooting. And the thing with the with the color gels, basically with the correcting gels, basically is uh, is what we've shown now. Except that you apply this now. We've applied it to tungsten, and you can apply it, of course, uh, to uh, like we said, fluorescent light if it's a greenish tone, uh, and uh, yeah. So you know, apply them to correct or balance rather uh, flash together with ambient light, yep. more available light. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk through these images now, So because I think it got a little bit uh, confusing and messing, at least for me, <laughs> when uh, the Capture One did some adjusting. Yeah. So we started here, uh, which is an orange light. This is the basically the tungsten light that we yeah. had in the background. Everything is very warm, very orangey. Uh, and that's because the camera is set on daylight or flash, which is around 5,600 Kelvin. And then uh, the tungsten light is color balanced at, at 3,200, much warmer. Uh, and then we, we added flash to it, which means that Ken gets, uh, there's a difference his between, colors. yeah, he gets his colors, so he gets his skin tone, but there's a mismatch between the, the tone of Ken and the background. So we adjust the camera's white balance to tungsten, which is the background, and, and take an image. So that gives us perfect 3200 uh, camera, balanced camera here, so the background looks good. But then the flashlight goes all blue, because uh, uh, the camera is balanced at 3200, and the uh, flash is at 5,600. So the blue so from the flash, which is daylight, basically daylight exactly. is blue in tone. Yeah. Uh, that is reflected on uh, Ken's skin uh, skin yeah. tone color. So we went. So then we went again. We have a mismatch between the two colors here, and that's when we put the orange gel on the A1, and then boom! Now we have skin tones on Ken, and we have a background that looks regular white. Yeah, so that's basically when you're correcting the color temperature of the flash with the gel, yeah. and uh, so you can actually match the color temperature of the background. So that's really a, yeah. a good way to do it. And then, then you can also play with correcting to, uh, uh, gels when yes. you're outdoors, for example. Absolutely. If you put the flash, uh, if you put the, the CTO on your flash and you're outdoors, and then you put your camera balanced to 3200 yes. or tungsten, then you get this really blue exactly. tone in the background. Exactly. So you get the kind of blue hour yeah. look and feel.
Yeah, so you can really change the time of day that you're shooting without actually changing the time that you're shooting at. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like a riddle. <laughs> So let's see. So we're going to see if we have what questions we've had here now on this. So we have some question about buying a studio space. The ceiling is two meters and 66 centimeters uh, high. What's your opinion? Too low or manageable? It's I think a in general, a bit on the edge. Can I mean, a studio be too high? No, exactly. No, <laughs> it can't be too high, but it can and definitely be too low. So you can, of course, work with that. Yeah. But you have to take in a couple of things into consideration. Is that you will be limited quite often. You want to set the lights not from below or from the eye level, mm -hmm. uh, because we are all used to one light source, which is way up high. The sun. The sun, <laughs> exactly. So that's why you all, you, you, normally you want to set your light sources pretty high up. Yeah. And if you don't want to be close, like if I'm close, if, I'm, if this is, my hand is the light source, I'm going to take a picture of, of Andrea, then I can put it here yeah. and it would be fantastic. But uh, I'm really close and the fall off is, is extreme. So it would be probably be totally black. black and, yeah. and if I want to have the same lighting, shape and I mean the, the 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 shadow pattern in his face and I need to move it back I need to move it back a lot so and, and then that's, that's when you need the height yeah. uh, and in order to to get some well basically when you're buying a studio space you have to think how long do you want to have the studio space for and how much you want to grow within it exactly so yeah. think of those things you know so don't limit yourself basically. yeah no and 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 and, and with two meters six you need to take into consideration that you you might want to be tighter with your with your lights, exactly. uh, and, and then also the contrast. I mean, quite often in a smaller studio, light starts to bounce, yeah. which will lighten up uh, the shadows. So if you want yeah. dark, dramatic shadows, you have to limit the light in the light source with uh, grids or snoots yeah. or barn doors, yeah. and that's basically what this guy is all about. He yeah. always. I mean, <laughs> you, I mean, you're the one that taught me really about. Uh, limiting the lights with yeah. all the different yes. tools, if yeah. it's a snoot or a... Yeah, and the thing, one thing is limiting the light to actually create uh, a mood and feel that you yeah. want. The other one is having, being forced to do that because your space is reflecting, yeah. you know, the light. Because uh, everything you light on will become a new light source. Exactly, exactly. So. So that was that. What about LED from Profoto? Well, we have LEDs in, uh, in all the modeling lights. They're all yeah. LED. Uh, the downside with LED is that you can't really get the um power mm. uh, that you get from a, from a plasma tube. Because, yes. I mean, you have plasma, which is like a thousand degrees or something, yeah. or even probably more. I don't know exactly the degrees, but it's really uh, hot. Mm. You create plasma. A lot of mm. light for a very, very short time. Yeah. And you can't do that really with LED. No, not uh, yet. Yeah, not, anyway. yet. Not, not yet, yes. Not yet. And, and, but maybe one day it, it, the yeah. technology is moving in that direction. So. And it's moving fast, so who knows. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, why would you need the green correcting gel if your strobe will overpower the fluorescent? Well, so, so not always. Sometimes, you, if, let's say if you are in this beautiful Italian restaurant yeah. and you have a, a fantastic environment and you want that atmosphere and that environment to be part of the picture yeah and then but when I'm taking that Andrea is still too dark so I need some light on him and that's where you want to balance the light basically the, the thing with flash is that flash gives you a lot of freedom which a lot of people don't understand uh, and the thing is that the flash gives you freedom to either include or exclude the ambient light Exactly. So yeah. if you want to exclude it, then what you're saying here then is totally correct. Yeah. Uh, but then you're actually, you know, killing the, the ambient either by overpowering it or by excluding it. And that you do with the aperture of your camera uh, and the shutter speed and the power of your flash as well. So you can either, you know, kill it and go completely white light with the flash. So you mm -hmm. light everything with flash. Uh, or you keep the shadows. So, you, you know, you, you go to F22, for instance, and then you're really killing your your uh, fluorescent lights. But then, like Anna said, you miss this, you know, the environment. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, bo yeah. bo both are right, but then there's all different ways. Yeah. Uh, so here we have a, a firmware update in progress that will uh, enable built-in receiver to be turned off. That I do not know. Uh, I don't have the access to, because they have this kind of to-do list for mm. each of the products on what they are developing and so forth. I don't have access to that. So. I do know, but I understand. So, for example, if you have 
uh, fixed B1s or B2s lighting the background, and then you and me are shooting yeah. with one A, one each. Yeah. So uh, what they're asking for is that th to have a way that with the remote or the A1, you could say that you're only sending, not receiving signals. Oh, so right. when you fire, yeah. my flash will not go. Right. So it's right. only your right. flash that will go. So but I mean, but wouldn't uh, working on separate channels no, but because we, we, we still want to use, we, we're sharing the B1s. Right. Yeah, so we're sharing the B1s lighting up the dance gotcha. hall, for example. Gotcha. gotcha. And then we're following to, right. you're hired by the groom and I'm hired by the bride. Yeah. And then we're taking different images. Yeah. Uh, and, but I don't want your flash to light my picture. Exactly. So, True. so yeah, I, I know that the R&D team, they are aware of this, uh, that this request is out there, but I don't know where they are at with it. Uh, on metering for colored light. I'd love to hear thoughts on metering for colored light. You mean metering the actual color temperature or actually the power of the flash? Yeah, yeah. so those are two things. I mean, one is you can buy the high-end Seconics, they can actually measure the, the color temperature. The color temperature yeah. And then, uh, correct me if I'm wrong now, because I might be mm. out on, on, on thin ice, but when I'm using a, a, a meter, IS meter is just like any other light. Absolutely, and that's the way to do it. Yeah. Output is output. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter what color, what it, color has. it is. And I still can work yeah. with ratios Absolutely. and so forth. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yes, even a blind chicken can find a corn if you keep on picking. You know. <laughs> oh, there's a corn. <laughs> um, uh, is thing, but watching live really explains on how to understand. Uh, Thank you for taping, taking time to create these live sessions. Well, thank and you, it's Jeff. It's fun for us. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, and, we and, love doing and, this. And, and also, we want to have uh, be able to answer questions live here yes. if something pops up. And, but you're right. Yeah, uh, watching a video, there's no interaction. But here we, we can interact. Yes, exactly. And sometimes it's a good thing, and sometimes it's a bad thing. So, yeah. <laughs> and we we both travel around the world as well. So if we are yeah. somewhere around you, Just grab us. Come and grab us. Yeah, we love that. Uh, so uh, let's see. Oh, here. I, back here uh, with the low ceiling i drape black cloth over the ceiling and take back control yeah exactly Will williams has a good idea so he's basically putting a, a black cloth on the on yeah. the roof which is yeah. a very good way it's uh, uh, it's a bit of a work but uh, i mean i did one thing with uh, a studio that i had here in stockholm years ago uh, it was a big studio mind you but i still was so picky about you know the white walls when i bought the studio it was white walls everywhere because most studios are actually white walls because it feels nice and fresh and bigger and whatever. But I wanted to really control my light. So I painted ceilings and walls completely black. Yeah. Really and black. then you have control of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, Peter, could you also show the demonstration? I think we, we did show, maybe I missed some part. Uh, uh, and I apologize for that if I missed something. But I, I tried to mm. capture you as much as possible yes. when you were out there doing <laughs> your thing. But I might have got stuck on capture one. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but not, <laughs> it's not meant to be that. Um, oh, for exposure. Well, it's, it's, it, uh, so yeah, Mark comes back with it regarding the me metering light. It's just like you would- uh, Like you would measure any other Any light. other light, no difference at all. Yeah. So either go on TTL if that's how you're working or with a flash meter if that's how you're working. Just yeah. measure it. And the, uh, do you find that with the increase in light output, the gel loses saturation? Is there a sweet spot? Oh, that's actually a very good point. We didn't talk about that. So if you have the flash on low power right. and you have a gel, then you get a darker, more intense yes. uh, shade of that color. So I we actually have time maybe to do a couple of uh, shots. Should we do that quickly? Oh, yes. Of yes, course. let's do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I always struggle with when he gets into this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, now he's walking out and he's going to go and pick, he, uh, get Ken and... Uh, no, I'm not shooting Ken, I'm just shooting background. Oh, you're shooting background? Just okay, background. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to go from a power of, uh, on the flash of four. And I'm going to be shooting, let me switch, the, turn the camera on again. Yeah. <laughs> right. There so you see the little uh, corner where we are at, and here's me, hi. Yeah. Um, so basically, I have not measured the light yet. Okay, so, so we're free basing here. So we'll we're free basing, yes. So now we have actually quite a lot of ambient light in here, but now we have low power, and here you can see a very, very uh, dark, dark uh, blue. blue tone, yeah. So from four, I'm going now to six. 
Let's see how that changes. And he's basically just shooting a wall. I'm just basically... Welcome to this uh, interesting episode <laughs> of shooting the wall. <laughs> shooting okay. the wall. And you and see how it gets brighter. Yeah, and then uh, if I do this, now you can see dark, and then now we're going... I'm going to eight. And even brighter. Even brighter. And yes, go all the way up. I now. go all the way up. There we go. And there we go. Oops. I need to do this. So here you see four shades of blue. Could be the title of a movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Four Shades of Blue. Four Shades of Blue. <laughs> well, uh, there, there is the blue movie. Uh, yes. So we're putting really two movies together here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really where you can see. So you, now you can control the, the shade you want with this, the same gel and just by increasing or decreasing the, uh, the power of, of, That's right. of the flash. So I hope that uh, explains. And then we have Denise Denise. Hello from Croydon. Hello, Denise. Yes, um, so that uh, was basically it. Uh, low power, dark color, high power, brighter color. Exactly. And no matter if it's green, red, or whatever color, you get this. So if you want this really dark red, low, low power. Exactly, and that's, that's where I've seen a lot of photographers do the opposite. Yeah. They see that you, know, you have this red gel, mm -hmm. and you want more of that red, so they yeah. turn up the power, exactly, and yeah. they kill it, and they get frustrated, and they and yeah. then end up here <laughs> in the lower square. Exactly. Uh, so, that second shot. Which second <laughs> shot? <laughs> yeah. You mean of the wall? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, Mark, you're going to love that wall. <laughs> I love that wall. Oh, I love that wall. <laughs> um, don't need backdrops after today. Well, Osa, uh, well, I'll... Yes and no. Depends. Yes and no, yeah. So the thing is that if you don't have a, a key light with, with white light, that it won't hit the background, then absolutely no. Then you can work with the gels to, to do the backdrop. Or if you have a big studio, so you have a lot of distance between your uh, subject and the wall, then that's what I actually do a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and so... So, but then the second you have, if you have a more complex light set up and, and you have light that spills on, yeah. uh, then it will actually kill the light yes. and uh, the color. So then you, then you lose your backdrop yeah. basically. And that's why you have from all these different uh, brands, different colored backdrops. So you yeah. can, you, if you want it to be brown, it will always be brown, no matter how much light you put on it. And in fact, so you play with that, giving it even more light if you want your subject quite close to your background or whatever. Yeah. Then, of course, you know, you have that. Yeah. So everything but, has its but I, but I, I use this a lot. So I, yes. I, you know, I control my light as much as possible and then I can be creative with, with gels because it's a lot yes. easier to carry around a pack of gels than oh, gotcha. like four or five rolls of, of backdrop. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> and the stands and this thing <laughs> in between. So, yeah. Um, anywho. Uh, no bricks on the wall. Ah, well, that would be fun, yeah. It to have be. a brick wall. Yeah. That's, that's really yeah. a nice it backdrop. Yeah. Uh, well, and you if you want this little pouch with bricks on it, you <laughs> know, and you just project <laughs> it. <A> <laughs> well, we had this one question. If you want a deeper blue at higher power, you can stack more gels. Absolutely. Exactly. You can fold them or, or you just cut small pieces and stack them. Yeah. Um, and if you want to, to, to uh, keep in par with yeah, all the other lights that you're using in your setup, so that you can absolutely do that as well. Yes. Uh, we had one more thing. It was about when using gels on the, uh, to color the backdrop, it's best to shoot on gray. Well, no, not necessarily. No. I mean, white or gray would work. Uh, yeah. White, of course, is is more. Uh, it's a little bit easier to color. Yes, um, it is. But with the gray, gray will you know, suck up a lot of the color. Yeah, it will. So, mm. so, so white is is the easiest. Black yes. is terrible. The black does not work. <laughs> <laughs> it's ter terrible. Uh, we had one question from last week. I went th went through a lot of studio gear, and and we got a question on. Is there a way to use C stands to, to, to mount a camera in between a C stand and in order to shoot flat lace? For example, mm -hmm. if you have clothes on the, uh, on the floor, etc. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to uh, grab the camera there and yes. walk over because I actually did that set up over here. And I'm going to untouch, touch, detach this guy. Uh, so how do I do this with one hand? 
Uh, do you want me to give you a hand? Why don't you do that? Uh, right. Since you do that very well. And so I'll, I'll first I'll walk you through what happened here. We have uh, two C stands. Uh, these could be any type of stands. But what's really the trick here is the C stand arm that you get. And uh, so I put that on one stand, and then I have another knuckle here, and I just put the pin in through here. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, okay. wait, 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 show. And then I have one of these thingies here that I can move back and forth uh, here. Now I put everything tight because I have a heavy head on here, and I'm going to have an even heavier camera on here. And then I put a little spigot in here and basically screw it into the head uh, and then I have my favorite uh, uh, ball head here and then you just attach the camera let's see which case uh, so you have to push the button here all right uh, wait. what happened here so we do that way yeah perfect and then and tight. Lock. so and now we have a heavy lens on it. Maybe we have we put a very heavy lens. Put the, uh, maybe we put the, put the 2470. Yes, let's do that. Because the, the 7200 would be too low. And you would not really need the 7200 <laughs> for that kind of setup. Yeah, I know. So now Andrea is just putting on a different lens. There we go. And there we go. And there you go. And so now you have a very stable solution uh, that you can shoot uh, stuff on the floor. And you can, of course, adjust the, the legs uh, over here to be parallel if you want to, so they get, get out of the way. And then you can raise it up as much as you want, way, way up, uh, just by raising these two that one this and that here. one. This is kind of cool to see uh, your hand like this. Okay, anyway. So you bring them Yeah, up. so you can be bring them up and get different perspectives, especially if you have something that stands up. Yeah, uh, exactly. Then you need to get up a exactly. little bit, otherwise it would be all distorted. So here's one way of, of doing flat lace, uh, which is really uh, stable and will keep everything set and, and then of course you don't need this head you could use any head of your choice uh, use your regular tripod head so that was the one question left from uh, last week and then we're gonna set this up here let's see if we can get an Andrea in there I'm hey. coming I'm coming here I am hello right there we go so I think that covered all the questions from last week, and I think we've covered most we of the questions. We have some comments here. You are dispelling this. Some dispelling myth. Some from myth. Yeah. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, John the is talking about great, food actually. is absolutely yeah. fantastic because yeah. you can use, you just focus on you know getting the plates in there and just have it over a table, and you can raise it if yeah. you have a high tall cake or whatever. Yeah. Uh, or a cucumber standing up, then <laughs> you need to get the camera up because otherwise it would be yes. distorted. So this is a very, very easy setup for... So when you, you mean food. when you're traveling to those Italian restaurants, you could actually bring that with you and take your foodies? <laughs> no, I think, I think this, is more, this is more for the people that are like focusing on food and they, maybe they're working from their home, they have a nice table with this wood structure and I all get that. You. Yeah. I was getting pictures of like balancing yeah, light together me, with yeah, the stand and, and, and mixing uh, everything together, you know? <laughs> And <laughs> carry on with two C stands. Exactly. That would be nice. Okay, we are rambling now, but we're rambling. Yeah, but so much fun. Uh, yes. I'm, thank you again for uh, thank you joining. So much. And thank uh, you so much. Uh, always a pleasure and always fun. And always good to uh, have you here and 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 you sharing your uh, your knowledge, and um, because you have so much of it. The, I'm an old man. I'm 200 uh, years old. <laughs> you vampire. <laughs> and there's so it, n never ending. Uh, source of uh, new stuff uh, <laughs> and there's always something crazy that will happen and and, and that's the fun part because you you can rehearse certain things but then 
you yes. can always add a little bit more. Exactly. And that's where the fun part happens. Yes. And, and so uh, now we at least we scratched the surface on using gels. I hope this helps. Uh, and now it's basically up to you to go out there and play, play with gels because it's a lot of fun. It and is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You and can really get creative. You can really create your own thing with gels and really change a picture that would be great to yeah. absolutely something stunning. Yeah. And, and, and it's, you know, you can be creative, you can be uh, more professional and correct with, you know, using them for backgrounds, back, uh, coloring yeah. backgrounds or yeah. for correcting uh, uh, colors so you get you know, balanced pictures and so forth. Or you can just go bananas with tons of different colors exactly. and create rainbow yes. colors. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank and you guys. Uh, until next week, uh, play, have fun, do stuff, light stuff or don't light stuff. Right now, spring is coming at least here in, uh, uh, in, in, in Sweden. And uh, yeah. so go out there, play in the wonderful spring light. Yes, and use some reflectors maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah reflectors, really cool. yeah. that's awesome. Just play. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Go play, play with light and paint with light. Exactly, be creative, have yeah. fun. <laughs> Which we like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if there are no other, and a lot of thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. We, we really appreciate your, your, your comments and, and your love because it's really the reason why we are uh, doing this. But now over to a short promotional video for the new course that's available on ProPhoto Academy. And uh, until next week, ciao. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>《ですこれは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、I like to maximize my possibilities as a photographer, and flash gives me the power to create natural looking light whenever the sun doesn't help me out. My goal with this course is to make you guys inspired. Build your self-confidence with making natural light with flash. I know some of you think that flash always looks artificial, harsh or that it's just too complicated to control. This is so wrong. The first thing you need to know is how light works.